hello my friends welcome back to my channel please like comment and subscribe if you would not mind you already know that i greatly appreciate you all okay friends today we went to domino's now i ordered things that i've never tried before so that's why we're here this is the chicken alfredo and then i have the parmesan bites so let's try to get us a thumbnail without spilling this on my lap and then we'll dig in. All right, that'll do it my friends. So yeah, chicken Parmesan, or nope, chicken uh, Alfredo, how about that? That's what I have here, never had it before. And then we have the Parmesan bites and we're gonna go ahead and start with those. So how are you guys doing? And then I do have my dipping sauce. I got the garlic, so let me open that real quick. Let me know how you're doing, how your weekend was, what you did that was fun, different, exciting, any of the above. Let me also grab a napkin, sorry guys. All right, here we are. So we have the Parmesan bites. Never had these before. They look pretty good. Dip it in the garlic sauce. Mmm. Can you really go wrong with garlic and butter and Parmesan? I don't think so. Wow. These things can be quite addicting, I can see. But I've never had much else other than pizza. And I think maybe like the cheesy bread or whatever they have. These things are bomb. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Like I've never had wings or anything. Dominoes. Well, my face is getting a little red. It's a little hot in here. I don't know what temperature it is, but it's hot in Florida. I'm gonna tell you, them four and a half days that I had off did me right. I needed them so bad. so bad I got everything accomplished that I wanted to do I got in touch with two um, volunteer places so I'm just so excited all right these are good there's like 16 in this order so I paid, I think it was like 11 bucks for these because I got, um, I did a 20% off your order. So let's dig in here. I'm always very weary when it comes to meat. I don't know why, I'm just weird about it. Let's see how it is. So what I'm gonna say off rip is I'm not gonna eat the chicken. It tastes very fake to me, which, I mean, what would you expect from Domino's, I guess? Mm. You know, I got this because I've seen people rave about it. Like I've seen plenty of YouTubers do this chicken alfredo mm, no I mean it's edible I'm gonna eat it because this is my lunch would I get it again no mm -mm. I 
Maybe it's because I make my own Alfredo sauce. This to me tastes very jarred. And obviously you can't fake the noodles. But the chicken. Mm -mm. Yeah, it just tastes like they bought a <clears throat> good old uh, Fredo sauce from Walmart. And so you go. But what do I always say on my channel? You never know till you try. And I know I will never try this again. <laughs> Oh, well, it's so, I mean, if I'm giving an honest review, I'd rate this like a four. And then Parmesan bites are bomb, but not this. All right, I want to answer some more questions that I have. That girl Shaz asked me, are you more of a planner or are you someone who goes with the flow? So I can be both. say it's a i mean steven and i have literally woke up on a saturday morning with zero plans and we just ventured out to a different state or to a different city when we lived in ohio let me see if this is still hot I can hold it when we lived in Ohio or not Ohio um, when we lived in Alabama we would literally just get up on a Saturday and be like hey you feel like going somewhere we did up in New Orleans we did up in Biloxi Mississippi we did up some on some beach down in Florida or we'd end up over in Georgia somewhere, Atlanta, or wherever. Me and him travel a lot. So when we just wake up and say, hey, what do you want to do? I don't have no plan. I'd be like, hey, you want to go explore uh, Mississippi? Sure. Wake up, pack some clothes. And on our little old adventure, we go. But if it's like a pre-planned trip, I usually plan more. Like we're if we want to go to like Charlotte, I will. Obviously, we're going to Charlotte. I will already have the hotel picked out booked and then what i'll do is write an itinerary like restaurants to try or sites to see or breweries or wineries to try out so we'll kind of have like an idea of what we want to do but <clears throat> we enjoy just going with the flow of traveling when we lived in alabama we would literally start in like Pensacola and end up all the way down in like Panama. Which they're not that close together. So yeah, I would say mostly we're just go with the flow. Um, unless it's a bigger trip then we'll semi plan, but no, not really. We just go. I think that's the fun of life, like because you could be driving. I remember one of our trips, we went from Ohio, <clears throat> stopped in Memphis, Tennessee, stopped somewhere in Louisiana, stopped in Mississippi, came back up to Alabama because we were staying with his dad before we moved. And like, that was our trip. Literally got in the car and just drove. It's too much to see. I like non-planned trips, to be honest. I love being spontaneous. I love it all. 
and then the next question um we'll probably i'll probably answer that one next but yeah i mean next video because i'm about done here y'all ever had this i ate it like i said because i'm hungry but we're gonna be getting this again So our anniversary is coming up on March 18th. So we're trying to decide where we want to go. <clears throat> It'll probably be somewhere down by Fort Myers, Florida. I would imagine. Cause I don't, we've never been to Fort Myers. It's an expensive little part of Florida, though, so we ain't staying in Fort Myers because I'm cheap, and I'm not staying in no hotel that's going to cost me $200 plus dollars a month or a night. No. Mm -mm. So we may eventually travel to Fort Myers, but I ain't getting a hotel in Fort Myers. So that's our next trip. In a couple weeks zero out of ten i do not recommend and then chickens can go somewhere uh -uh. absolutely not that was bleh i don't know who's out here mukbanging on some i mean if you like it you like it but i don't know who's out here mukbanging on that because that's not good these are good these are 10 out of 10 Parmesan bites. But this weekend was great. Cleaned out my car. Met with some volunteer places. <clears throat> yeah. Met with my counselor for about two hours. He recommended a good book to read, so I bought that. Took a couple naps, cleaned the house, chilled in the swimming pool for a couple hours. Yeah. I definitely recommend if you are getting burnt the hell out. Uh, you need to take time for yourself for real very important i'm gonna be hitting even harder on my mental health than i have been so definitely focus it on myself you got to can't be having these folks in these situations out here messing with you man you just cannot mm -mm. i don't care if it's family or friends nope because if you want to show your butt you ain't gotta be in my life no you do not just because we blood that don't mean much so counselor said to definitely just <clears throat> focus on myself that's what we're doing. 2022 was all about setting those boundaries. 2023 is going to be all about healing. And that's about it. I focus it on myself. <clears throat> talking to him about, my, oh, you know, past, present issues, whatever. Reading a lot of books. Listening to a lot of podcasts. Doing a lot of like breathing exercises, meditation, relaxation. That's what I'm all about this year. Back traveling and eating good food. That's what we're about to have for this year. Amen. Amen. All right. I think there's like 16 of these in here. I'm about to sit here and eat all these things. But don't go out there and get that Alfredo penne. Ew. Make your own. <clears throat> but definitely get these little 
Parmesan bots, bots. Get them Parmesan bots. They're really good. All right, y'all. Let me know how you're doing, what you're doing, what you got going on. Tell me something positive and good. So the next video, I'll see y'all later.